Try, try this with your female friends. Go through the drive through at some place, and then afterwards ask them to remember what did the, the guy who gave you their food look like, and they won't remember. Oh, Women have no reticular no. activation system for men that they don't find attractive, and so because they only notice the men they do find attractive, then all men are... I, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think men control hookup culture. Men control... I mean... I don't and, think but, so, but, because I think the desire to sleep with multiple women has been around since men have been on this planet. But it wasn't really possible until there was a loosening of, let's say, social mores about that. And even if that desire has been constant for thousands of years, why hasn't there been hookup culture for thousands of years? Like, what's changed in recent times? Well, like she put it out, the sexual revolution. Oh, God. <laughs> Real quick, so if you want to blame, so obviously hookup culture requires two people. If you want to blame people, you can. But I will tell you that the, it is not men who are to blame for hookup culture. It is like top 5% most attractive men who are to blame for hookup culture and all women that or all women that participate there in hookup no culture. hookup culture. Okay, so what that's interesting. What is the oldest profession? Well, Wait, Rolo, what do you mean? What mean? is the world's oldest profession? Uh, we it's know. Uh, probably carpentry. But go ahead. What, what do you mean? <laughs> Well, here's the yeah, you're probably right. Marry that guy. Come to think of yeah, it, you're, right, you're correct. Marry Madeline. Pro exactly. Probably, probably, probably hunting. I'm going to yes. guess it's older. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, they didn't well, make well, money. You don't think you don't believe no, in a hookup no, culture? Well, okay. So oh whenever God. you put the word culture at, on the end of another word, like you say, grape culture, you put a bro culture, mm, okay. marriage culture, you know, whatever hookup culture. If you put culture at the end of anything as the sort of the suffix of the, of the term, you make it endemic, meaning that like everybody's doing this, everyone is nailing each other, and there's this hookup culture where we just yeah. go on our, our phones, we just find some random and we have sex, right? Incorrect, statistically, provably, empirically, incorrect. The only guys who are involved in hookup culture are the guys we were just talking about a minute ago, the nines and the tens, who can, who can participate in that. They constitute maybe about four and a half percent of guys. But not all in, nines and in, tens in, are like that. Well, but the ones that are, right. that, that's a great point, but the ones that are. And so right. when, when we talk about, when women want to talk about hookup culture, they want to talk about like how easy it is for guys to have sex. Yeah, the guys you want to Correct. fuck, the, the guys who do fuck, Yes, the 80% guys, even the 20% guys, have a really tough time of it. You know, if you're in the 80%, you're just basically invisible. What are you talking about? The guy at yes. CBS it, it, stocking it, the it, shelves? If you are, if what Farah had said was those top 5% of guys that I really find attractive, they are responsible for hookup culture. Justin I, Waller. I would say they're responsible for 50% of hookup culture, and women are responsible for the other 50% well, of hookup then, culture. You got the men, right? It takes that two. Aren't, aren't yeah. that good looking, but they hide behind their money or they lie about it. They leave with their wallet. That, that could be it too, but, but to your point, if you look at it, it's like the average number of like sexual partners has been stayed the same, but there's a group of men at the top. Like the top 5% of men who had previously like 10 years ago had like 35 sexual partners in the top 5%, and now it's up to 60. So like, wow. so what I'm saying is we're all staying the same, but there's a group of men at the top who's having there, more sex. And then you go look, there's a group of men at the bottom who are having no sex and a group of men at the top who are having 60 sexual partners, but women are having the same amount of sex? Hmm, what does that mean? It means that what's happened is women have access to these higher status men, and they're, they're getting that. So hookup culture is a small group of men and a larger group of women hooking up with each other. When she blames men, she can't blame men. She right. can blame a top group of men. This is another thing, pretty controversial statement. I believe there is a patriarchy, but if there is a patriarchy, do you know who the patriarchy benefits the least? Men. Low status men. The victims yeah. of a patriarchy are low low status men are the ones working for minimum wage. The people <laughs> that are abused the most are low status men. It's actually not women. The thing with hookup culture. It's not a thing. It's really not. I think that's a culture amongst the people that are in it. Like, if you're not on a dating app, if you're not looking, if you're not seeking a man. There are women, I feel like, that don't seek partners like i didn't look for my husband yeah but some women do so the, the sociosexual group of men and women do look to have sex and then that is that's not the culture that's just that little bubble or world uh, that they're living uh, that's in. What I, feel I, like. I understand how you feel anecdotal right. but the, yeah. like consider cardi b bragging about drugging men and then like stealing their money and how none of that is chastised but in the 1950s all of this would be the point is there's a, a much less um stigmatized for women having a high body count sleeping with multiple it's men it's the norm yes so in that now women are more available to have sex with more men but it is a small group of men that they're having sex with and so in their ergo hookup culture that's where it comes from
Does that make sense? Yes. And that's who she's complaining about. That's who Farah is complaining about. She's complaining about the men that she noticed. Uh, often, uh, the bottom, there's a really funny video. I got to find it where this guy's asking this girl. It's like, you know, let's look at different guys that you would find attractive. What about that guy over there? And she goes, where? What guy? He goes, the dude descending right there. She goes, behind the mailman? She's like, no, the mailman and she didn't see him so often we'll go we'll go through the drive through nice. we'll go through the drive through so rude. Try, try this with your female friends go through the drive through at some place and then afterwards ask them to remember what did the the guy who gave you their food look like and they won't remember because She's women shallow. women have no reticular know. activation system for men that they don't find attractive and so because they only notice the men they do find attractive then all men are players no they're not most yeah. men can't cheat yeah you'll remember the guy that drives up in the lamborghini and for what sure. his eye yeah. color was and how yes. tall he was yeah. definitely <laughs> yeah. won't if you he was a douche. If well, he it's was like a they douche. do those YouTube. But you know what? But you know what? You'd remember he's a douche. Yeah. No, I won't. I won't remember <laughs> anything yeah, about that guy. Well, Anybody else at the table want to get married? Want to have? I a didn't want to get married. Yeah. Raise your hand up high if you, if you want, want to, get to get married. One, two, three. I wasn't sure. planning on it. Let yeah. me clarify. Well, okay. So, really uh, of the people that raise their hands, hands, on what priority order is it? Is it like a top priority, or is it like number like four? It was. Live it's not ever. marriage. No, you no. want love. I you need to figure out like myself first. But love I think down the road, I do want to get married eventually. Like, I do want a white picket fence and like. Like in how many kids? years? How old are you? 21. 21? 10. So, 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 so you want 10 kids? No, 10, 10 years. Oh, 10 years. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Like not you not want just a ten, you well, anymore? Like, what? <laughs> well, they, I mean, the Me average too. age the average age of first marriage in the United States for women is 30, and for men it's 32 right now. Well, it's definitely that increasing. Me, for sure. yeah. What do you think? Where, where was the priority? I'm 21 and divorced already, so. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm 21. When, when, did, you, when did you get divorced? married? 19. Uh, I was oh. in love with this man. I met him, like, and I just got married within three months, and... Not uncommon, by the way. And like first, like when you get married, like that early, it usually it usually falls apart before yeah. you're. Yeah, yeah, no, it fell apart quick. Yeah, <laughs> it was As, for the better. I know yeah. you're with a dude. I was like engaged, <laughs> and then I didn't want to get married because I was like 19. And then this guy, like, I finally I got proposed to again. Didn't want to get married. Finally, the third guy that proposed, I was like, he's like, you know, you should. He like basically manipulated with my head to get me to marry him. Mm -hmm. And we got married, you know, three months later. And it wasn't like it wasn't good because it's like I feel like I want to know somebody now. After being married, I've already had that marriage, and I want to know somebody. And it takes a minimum, I think, of two years to actually know somebody because mm -hmm. you have to be in different definitely. situations, different scenarios, and you don't know somebody until you've like lived with them, been in different. Exactly. Situations in yeah. different scenarios. You can't just jump on. Some you find cases that do work out, like you and your husband and stuff and like I'm that. I definitely want to get married. I like the idea of 30. That makes sense mm -hmm. to me. And I don't know. I've seen a lot of like my friends and people like get married because they have kids and then they like they have to get married because they have kids, which I guess if I'm in love with someone, I'll have kids before marriage, but ideally I'd want to get married and then have kids. So mm -hmm. marriage needs to come quick. Because I also <laughs> don't want to have kids when I'm like. 50. Yeah, you know. yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah. I, I feel like getting married 50-50 on kids. Yeah.